happened to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Happy New Year to wherever you are. I hope that you find this year much better than the last year. In today's video we are going to look at the analysis of crude oil. I'm going to try to bring on different techniques and use them together to find the answer uh, where crude oil is expected to go which is the main trend. Before we go on and dis discuss this particular chart, uh, there are a couple of very interesting things on this particular chart we are going to discuss. It. Uh, I want to head over to MT4 and then we can see some of the data. First of all, if you haven't seen my previous analysis, I have clearly indicated that I'm expecting this whole price movement to be the completion of wave C. So basically wave A, wave B and wave C. And I'm right now expecting for different uh, for some study that I have done uh, on, on crude oil, I'm expecting that we are going to see uh, a larger movement downward and some correction and another move downward. So I'm bearish on um, on crude oil. It might not fall all the way deep. Uh, we can actually see all the way falling somewhere around 35 and then go up and then come down. Um, but uh, I'm considering that we have seen a top right over here. And this top, um, I have a couple of things. First of all, the support line that was holding the uh, price action of wave C is already broken. Uh, another thing is that uh, the amount of drop that from the happened from the top to the bottom is almost about 25% uh, of $85. So it's pretty solid drop if you look at the amount of the drop as well. And right now we are seeing the signs I was indicating that I will not be trading the correction. I believe that we have kind of completed the correction. I'm uh, going to zoom in and we'll see uh, what's happening. Let's have a look at the hourly ch daily chart. First. First of all, we can see that the the daily uh, uh, the daily chart is giving us already a daily uh, candlestick. It's uh, a pretty strong. It's a reversal, giving an indication that last three days data uh, have been overshadowed by yesterday's data. Uh, so it's pretty good, uh, giving an indication that it has found support uh, on the left shoulder, basically. And this is right shoulder. I'm considering it as a head one shoulder and the other shoulder and we were expecting this to happen and that a bounce should come right now so i'm right now this is a good place to enter the stock uh, enter the crude oil i'm expecting that if we can put our stop loss right at the top and uh, there are very less chances to for it to be ca caught if it does caught that means prices should be going even further down uh, but i think it's a good enough entry point for crude oil and the stop loss should be kept very very close just in case we are wrong we do not want to be uh, carrying all the less that loss all the way over. Uh, so that is the reason I'm considering. As far as Elliott wave analysis, I'm considering this the possibility that we have completed wave one and wave two. Uh, when we come to wave two, there is a couple of possibility that we have only completed part of wave two, and that means that we have completed a zigzag pattern already. If you look at this, we can actually see wave A, wave B, and wave C. We can easily identify that pattern if you are an Elliott wave analyst. And we can easily identify that um, that pattern to be uh, uh, a zigzag pattern. So there's a couple of possibilities that are going to happen. First of all, uh, we can price wait for the prices to go all the way down, uh, giving an indication that wave two is complete. A second possibility is that we are going to probably see uh, prices come down right over here, and then jump up again all over here, something like this and then we'll see the completion of wave 2. So both things are possible right now, giving us one indication that we are actually looking uh, for the prices to go down immediately. Uh, so both our counts are indicating that we are going to go uh, be, be bearish in next uh, few days, in next 3-4 uh, weeks. Uh, pretty good news for crude oil and for the economies that are not actually that strong. And There's a lot of consumption of uh, oil, so I hope for they'll find some relief uh, when the prices actually go down. And th let's go back to the the chart that we were looking for it. And it, this is basically uh, the chart I have drawn the uh, square of the highest price, which is around $85.34 uh, for crude oil. And what I have, what are you right now seeing from that top? Uh, this green line, this green line is basically 6.125% uh, of the top. And then this is another 6.125% gap. Um, basically, if you can actually see it, uh, let me see if I can... Uh, zoom out and uh, can show you a bigger picture. So from this top to this top is basically 50% drop and then we have another 50% drop. Within this 50% I've divided that to 8 equal uh, parts so you can actually say 
this is around kind of 6.1 to 5 percent all right let me zoom in and see what actually what else we are seeing right now uh, I've drawn in the uh, the, mm, the angles from the top and uh, this angle got refusal pretty quickly another important thing is that uh, instead of using the actual target right over here I have used these four boxes one two three and four uh, if you have uh, read some of the box theory and then it's also interesting so I've kind of tried to bring that in action too and I have uh, actually tried to figure out where the support could be so I have drawn an, and uh, the blue line you guys can see is a smaller division even so I have gone another smaller division of that and we can see that the support is coming exactly at 62.5 percent uh, of the drop of the four boxes I'm not considered this one but if you want you can definitely consider this one and in that way uh, definitely the the accuracy would not be as much as we are uh, seeing right over here so you can push it right over here and we can see that right over here there is uh, some push upward but if you can actually bring it right over to the this area this is pretty interesting and then we can easily see uh, that the support is coming in and uh, the daily time frame reaction is also giving an indication that we are immediately going down uh, once again pattern recognition is telling us that this is uh, either one two and one two is going to happen but I don't think so we are seeing that most of the uh, fundamentals are also indicating towards the bearish price action and this is what our technical in analysis is also indication I've done some long-term analysis on some very long-term analysis on on crude oil and all of that indication is uh, that analysis is also indication that uh, next uh, uh, few years are going to be actually bearish for for um, crude oil uh, I hope that you find some value in the content if you are interested in my uh, analysis of gold silver euro uh, and British pound and then some very very nice price action and clear price action is actually happening and the patterns and the analysis could not be or the indication of the the data could not be more clearer uh, than what we are seeing uh, on gold silver euro and British pound so all of that analysis is going to be available on my patreon page which is actually patreon.com uh, forward slash Elliot wave green I'm only charging ninety nine uh, dollars the US uh, per month and then you can see the detail analysis um, I might end up missing crude oil from next couple of weeks but they will definitely be available on my patreon.com um, page if you are interested in it please uh, head back to patreon.com forward slash uh, Elliot wave green once again uh, happy new year I hope that you find a much better value uh, in this year and you feel uh, some more you find some more great achievements in your life wish you good luck have a good one and bye bye